Hello, 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 in today's video we will be trying Shen Yun Gamin combo. We'll increase damage step by step to understand how everything works. And after that try different rotation to optimize this stream. Is cloud gaming is the real thing? Let's find out. Shen Yun. Quite unique supper that can turn every character into the shower. And of course I wanted to try her with Diluc. And yes, first I was testing Shan Yun Diluc teams and rotations. But right now we have another character that played with Charge Attack right in the banner. And of course while I was pulling for Shan Yun I've got Gaming. And while I was testing Diluc I've decided to take a break and make a quick test what Gaming is offering. And oh my god he is not disappointed. His gameplay was so fun so I've decided. Diluc today you are taking your day off and we will come back to your testing with Shan Yun later. So today we will test how Shan Yun and Gaming combo works. Gaming. And let's see what Gamin is offering. And first let's start with the quick build. I've preferred for him so he's level up, but there are still some issues with him. For the weapon I'm using Tidal Shadow. This would be his best in slot free to play weapon. Because he has self healing in his kit and can easily activate the passive. Artifacts full Crimson Witch. And I think this is best in slot set for him. Because we can use his skill multiple times and activate passive at full potential. So our Gamin is Constellation 2. And now for the Talents. And there are some problems here. We have Talents for H and H. And even though his normal attacks looking not that important, but they will play big role in the future. And now for the stats, my gaming is level 81, we have 2200 attack and unfortunately only 42 elemental mastery. And for the crit ratio it's 60 to 137. So yes, in the end we're having very medium gamin build, but this would be enough for today. How gamin is played is actually pretty simple. Main source of damage is his skill, which we convert into plunging attacks. And when we're using his burst, we can kinda spam his skills. Yes, we have downtimes between them and you will see everything. And now let's add the damage and how everything works. So please stand up. So using Gamin skill and first skill is 16,000, first not critting. So let's go second skill 21,000, so waiting downtime, another skill not critting. And another skill 22,000, yes 22,000 when all of our buffs is running. Of course we've got hit and another 22,000, so yes. As you can see we have some problems with doubt times, but when we're using his skill damage is pretty nice for the 4 star character with this level of investments. And let's go further. Shen Yun. And now we're adding Shan Yun to the team. And first let's start with the quick build. One unfortunate thing, you cannot fully build her on the first day. So she would be hardly under build, but this is mostly doesn't matter. For the weapon I'm using Earthworm Eye, it's probably her best free to play weapon. Because we're having high base attack with attack percentage and can increase our energy recharge. But we still would need energy recharge substat on our artifact. For artifact set I'm using Song of the Days Past. I will not explain this right now, we will come back to this later. My Shan Yun is constellation 0 with talents 2, 6 and 6. And for the stats my Shan Yun is level 70 with 2900 attack. Crit ratio wouldn't matter today and I have 130 H energy recharge without weapons buff. So yes, this Shan Yun will be using today. And what Shan Yun is offering as the support? First of all she is activating plunging attack on any character. Second thing she is buffing plunging attack. It's flat attack bonus and it's actually pretty high. 200% from her own attack. And the good thing it's accession passive. We don't need our talents to be level up. And she is offering small crit rate buff to the team. And now on the screen you are seeing all the buffs that she provides. And now let's add the damage and change play style. So let's use best to activate some of the days past. So now using skill going to Gamin. First skill not critting. Ok using normal plunge then skill 35,000. Normal plunge physical and then skill 34,000. Normal plunge physical and skill 37,000, pretty nice, pretty nice. So our damage increased almost by 15,000 and percentage wise it's 68%. But there is one problem, in our down times we was using normal plunge attacks and they are doing physical damage, so we need to fix it. Bennett. And of course to solve previous problem we are adding Binet to the team. And Binet is kinda crucial here. And not only Binet, C6 Binet because we need Pyro Infusion. And this would solve our problem. Because right now on our down times we can alternate between our skill and our normal plunge attack. And yes that was the reason why I said previously why his normal attacks would be very important. And what besides Pyro Infusion Binet is offering to the team? His C6 giving 15% Pyro damage bonus, his burst are giving 1110 attack and for the build. 
removed. As a weapon, he is using Skyward Blade and Artifacts Full Nobles Oblige set. And one thing that I need to mention about interaction with Bennett and Shan Yun. Even though Shan Yun buff a scaling from attack, it's not snapshotting. So we don't need to use her burst in Bennett Circle, because this will not change anything. But on the other hand, Nobles Oblige is a team wide buff. And because her skill is not snapshotting, we can use Shan Yun before Bennett and she still receives the buff. And now you can see all the buffs on the screen. So let's add the damage. We are starting with Shan Yun to activate Song of the Days past buff. So using her burst. The net skill into the burst. So Gamin, 45,000 first plunge. Normal plunge, 31,000 skill, 51,000. Again normal plunge, skill 53,000. Let's go normal plunge and we are finishing, we are finishing our rotation. And we increased our damage by 16,000 with Bennett. And now you are seeing damage percentage increase on the screen. But don't rely on it because Shan Yun and Bennett are both working with base multipliers. And if we were in different order we would get different results. And I actually don't know why I calculated it, just forget about it. Purina. Ok, now we are adding Hydra character to the team. Because I think Gaming designed to play with reactions. Yes, his base key doesn't have any clues about that. But his skill doesn't have ICD and plunge attack doesn't have ICD. And if you have this type of utility, of course you want to play with reactions. And our Hydra player will be Furina. And that's unfortunate because Furina is kinda crucial here too. Because she is only one character in the game that can apply decent amount of Hydra without relying on normal attacks. So yes, Gaming team is kinda expensive. Let's quickly see what Furina is offering us. My Furina is C2 and besides Hydra application, she can increase our damage percentage up to 100%. And for the weapon she is using Pipe Sword with Artifacts Full Golden Troop Set. And now for the story why I went for the Song of the Days passed on Shan Yun. First I was using very decent Minir on her. And this setup is kinda worked. So let's see how this is going. Applying Pyro using Net's Burst, Swirling Pyro, Shan Yun's Burst, Purina skill into the burst. And first gaming skill 129,000, burst 165, normal plunge 96, and second skill 153,000. The damage was just insane. But if we look closely at the end of our second plunge, Bennett's buff is run out and very decent Veneer's debuff is run out. And if this fight would have been longer, we would have some trouble. But I am cannot say that this variant is unplayable. We already have teams that have huge damage drops in their rotations. But I wanted to find different ways. I've experimented with different rotations and the result was plus minus the same. It's very hard to have good uptime on Bennett buff and very decent veneer at the same time. And Shian Yun is not Kazuka, she cannot swill Bennett's self parallel application. And to solve our buff's uptime problem, we need to change our rotation. Urina's buff is lasting for 18 seconds, Shian Yun buff lasts for 16 seconds, and Bennett buff lasts for 12 seconds. And if we completely abandon very decent veneer utility and change her artifact for the song of the days past, we can use them in exactly this order. First we'll start with Furina, then Shan Yun and last buffer would be Bennett. And because Song of the Days Pass needs 6 seconds to be activated, while we're using Bennett and Gamin precasting, we will get this buff. And Gamin stays on the field for quite a long time, so he will receive this buff twice. And that's how our buffs looking right now. So let's see at the damage and rotation. Starting with Furina, Furina's burst, so Shan Yun's skill, burst, Bennett skilling to the burst and going for Gamin. First skill 129,000, burst 136, plunge 80,000 and next skill 139 damage. As you can see our damage is drop, but right now we're having perfect buff uptimes. And in longer fights we have more stability and more sustained DPS. Real DPS check. So let's try this team against Spiral Abyss level threat. We'll go against Leggy Hypostasis and test how everything is works. So let's go. Normal and charge attack useless, so we're going with HP. So let's start, starting with Purina, then Chan Yun, burst. So he's running away, of course he's running away, so first plunge, second plunge is physical, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. But we are unleashing the damage against him, yes we are unleashing the damage against him, can we one cycle him? Can we one cycle him? Please, please, please. Yes, we can one cycle. Almost, almost, almost one cycle. Almost one cycle. And we already pushing him to second place. Who we have here? Who we have here? We have Tan. So let's start precasting. Purina. Please jump on me. Please jump on me. Good boy. Not the good boy. You're hitting me. That was bad boy. So let's go, Bennett. So first plunge burst. 
Second punch and we've done with the tank, we've done with the tank. Can we finish him with this rotation? Can we finish? Please, 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 another skill and yes, we are finishing, we are finishing in one minute. Conclusion. So what we have in the end, Gamin is pretty good. And this is the first time when we are getting 4 star main DPS and 5 star support for him. His damage is pretty good, his play style is pretty fun and even with my mediocre build he performed really good today. But as we've seen today his best supports are 5 star. So he is like Aika from 4 star DPSs. But at least his supports are more universal. As for me I would play him a lot because I really enjoyed his play style. And I would even say right now he is my favorite 4 star main. So what are your thoughts about Chan Yun Gamin? let me know in the comments and thank you for the watching subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video